Where's that treasure map? Arg, what's happening, everybody? It's a pirate stacker coming at you. Sunday, Sunday fun day. Let's get a shot. Today is the British invasion. Yes. I've got a bunch of Brit coins to show you. Uh, let me get a cheers for my family. All of these coins I'm about to show you came from my stepdad, my brother-in-laws, my brother, my nephew. So Luke, Sean, Neil, Richard, all of you, cheers to you guys. Mmm. A little messy, but delicious. So, if you've been watching... Sorry, Pirate made a mess. If you've been watching, you realize I took a trip to England like six weeks, two months ago. Visit all my family. I have a ton of family over there. Uh, and it was awesome. And I was able to pick up some cool coins. And I think it's one of those things where... When you go somewhere different, it's just, it's new to you, so it's neat. It's fun. And uh, so I decided to put together some English coins all in, all in one big thing. Now look, there's not a lot of value here, but the sentimental value and the coolness factor, I think is very neat. So I'm going to go through a few of these, just show, show you the collection real quick. And then I got something that came to mind, and it might be a little bit of a challenge for you guys at the end. Anyway, let's roll. England, 1967. This is a sixpence. Yes. We might know the band Sixpence, None the Richer. Yeah, anyway. Sixpence. That's cool. Uh, now, this is what's really neat. This is a 50 pence, 1998. Now, I love these off-shaped coins. And uh, the 50 pence is one in particular that they came out with a whole bunch of different variations. So we're going to see a bunch of 50 pence. I'm going to organize these a little bit. Uh, this is a one pound. Now, over there, they're one and two pounds come in coin form, not in paper. So there is a one pound coin and a two pound coin. And I like that. Uh, this is a England 1905 one penny. Really cool. And uh, you get into these older ones, and they're just really neat looking. And uh, I like anything nautical-ish anyway. This is a 1912 three pence. British. 92.5% silver. So this is sterling silver, 925 this is one that happens to be worth a little bit because it's got that sterling. Plus, I mean, it's 110 years old. That's just a neat, a neat looking one. 1922, a shilling, one shilling, 50% silver. And you can see that's worn. You know, that's been a lot of pockets, right? And, uh, and it's neat with these older ones, you get that feeling of history to them. 1947, two shillings. Now, there's a whole story about how they went on to the decimal system. It used to be like 200 and something cents to a dollar to a pound. By the way, they're pounds and pence, not dollars and cents. 1959, another two shilling. I just think that the detail on these, oh, they're just really cool, right? Really neat detail. Really crisp for being as old as they are as well. And uh, if you guys collect any of this stuff, let me know. If I have doubles, I'm happy to shoot some out to you. This is a 1980 50p. Again, it's got that cool shape. And they're nice weighty coin. Uh, so they're they're just neat to hold. Now, these, these are the newer looking. So this is a 2020 10 pence. And look how it's got those lions on it. And those are something you'd see on like a crest or a flag these days. That kind of historic looking lion. I think it's pretty cool looking. Another 97, 50p. And I just grabbed and held on to whatever I could find. Now this is a 92. This is a 10 pence. This is from earlier. And it's got the lion on there. It's very regal looking. Nice, nice little piece. Ah, the big dog, two pound coin. Look at that, 2009, 
big guy, it's thick, it's weighty, it buy you some stuff. 2017 one pound coin. So this is a newer version of the pound coin that I showed you earlier. And uh, and it's they're nice they're nice coins. England 2005. This is a 5P. Again, it looks like a really cool crest on there. And uh, you know, of course, on their money they got the queens and the kings. All right, so here's one of the variations. So this is a 2019 50P, and this is the Sherlock Holmes, which is a really cool looking one. Of course, Sherlock Holmes being a traditional English story about a detective. You know the story. Uh, anyway, another 50P, 2011, and this one has a different design on it. And I don't even know what these designs are, but it looks like a guy in a wheelchair. Interesting. It's just kind of neat to have some of this stuff. 2011, 2P. And look how they do this like off-centered square, like you get a piece of something. Anyway, they're just neat, neat looking coins to me. And again, you always love what you don't have. Peter Rabbit, 2017, 50P. Uh, of course, Peter Rabbit, another English traditional story. 1966 one penny now this is the same as that older one penny was and uh very cool i i think that's probably one of my favorite designs 2015 the battle of britain 1940 and uh, this is again this is one of those 50 pence uh variations very cool Let's see what we got here couple of them 2017 50p another variation of some kind of benjamin bunny uh english 2017 1p awesome that's your current monies another 50 cent variation diversity built britain here we go get into some old ones english 1957 half crown very cool. Now, this was worth some money back in 57. You could have bought some stuff with this. Crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure that that is Queen Elizabeth that's still Queen Elizabeth today. Maybe not. Maybe it's her mom. Who knows? I don't because I'm not really English, but my family is. 1948, one shilling. Now, this, I just think this is one of the coolest looking coins Look at that lion up on top of a crown. I mean, that is tough. That is some tough money right there. You don't want to mess with that big cat. Three pence, 1944. So I have a story. My stepdad, Richard, he was saying back in the 50s, a three pence could have gotten you, could have bought you a whole fish and chips dinner and with like a drink even and i thought that was really cool like three pence to get you all that and this is a neat coin as well because it's got a, a cool sort of weird edging design on it so it's a fun one 1989 half p with a crown half p why were they even messing with half pennies back in the 80s and 90s two shilling coin very cool 1947 neat design we're digging through them here. Another half crown, another one shilling. Look at those, boom. And again, these old ones are neat. The designs are really cool on them. The names, a half crown, a shilling. Uh, this is another one pound, 2016, one pounder. 1966, two shilling, very cool coin, very prevalent. Now, you can't use a two shilling anymore. That is out of circulation since they went to the decimal. No more shillings, no more farthings, no more crowns. You cannot use those. Two shillings. So that's kind of a weird conversion. There's another Sherlock Holmes. Dig it. Here's another one. Peace, prosperity, and friendship with all nations. Guess they're trying to convince you. Six pence, 1967. That is a very cool coin. Really dig it. 
another cool this is a paddington bear english 2019 if you didn't just see the jubilee speaking of jubilee i have that queen's jubilee oh 70 year jubilee and this one's in a capsule so i just left it there 2022 celebrating the jubilee kind of a neat little mirror finish 2019 20 pence another cool design it's kind of got that off centered like you got a piece of the pattern another three pence and again these are just they're neat 1942 it's got some wear i like thinking about the stories they would tell 2014 50p 1960 half pence look at that half penny beautiful very cool just my style another pound so as we're flipping through here let me talk to you about what i'm thinking 2011 a two pence still in 2011 all right i'm almost to the end 1978 half pence little guy half penny as they say there was another there was a cool one in here let me show you english half pence or half penny there it is. There's a five pence. Neat. This guy. 1946. This is a farthing. So shillings, farthings, crowns. Very cool. So this got me thinking. You know what? Here in America, we still have coins, but we can clearly see they're trying to get rid of them. But we've had all kinds of different quarters, this, that, the other. And you take it for granted because you can still get them until you can't. So while we've got all this loose change, I'm going to go through and I'm going to save one-offs of everything I can find. Put it in a flip, stick it in a box. Not that it's worth any real money now, but guess what? When our kids come get older or our kids' kids come around, they're not going to have those anymore. Just like these dollar coins. These were prevalent when I was a kid. You don't see them anywhere anymore. Nobody even knows what they are in this generation. That's my challenge to you. What do you think about that? Is that worth saving? Is that worth collecting? I think it's kind of a neat idea <clears throat> and worth giving a try. Hey, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my British invasion. Thank you all for watching. We're just having some fun here with our coins. It doesn't always got to be expensive to stack or collect. Uh, it should just be a good time. Thank you for watching. That's it for today. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>